This episode of Nerdist News is sponsored by Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. How the new Spider-Man trailer changed everything we know about Far From Home. Last weekend, Brazil's Comic-Con experience brought superhero movie fans tons of exclusives from an unreleased Captain Marvel clip, a Shazam poster, the Avengers 4 title and trailer, It Was About Time, and new Spider-Man costumes from Far From Home. And in the midst of all the info dumps, one of the most exciting things revealed exclusively to Brazil fans was the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer, which still has yet to be released to the rest of the world. Now, while we have yet to see the actual trailer ourselves, more than quite a few descriptions have popped up everywhere online, and based on what we are learning, several of the assumptions, speculations, and preconceived notions we had of the film are being flipped on their heads with all of these new details. So let's break down all of the rumblings, stirrings, tidbits, goodies, and nuggets hidden within all of those trailer write-ups. Now, before we dive too deep, if you're hoping to swing your way into Spider-Man Far From Home spoiler-free, then go ahead and click on out of this web of spoilers. So here's a quick recap of what we already knew about Far From Home pre-trailer. We knew that Spidey would be on some sort of school trip or vacation to Europe, and during his adventure across the pond, he would be recruited by Nick Fury for some espionage, sh espionage, espionage <laughs> shenanigans. For some espionage shenan... During his adventure across the pond, he would be recruited by Nick Fury for some espionage shenanigans which would most likely entail Mysterio as well as other villains, rumored to be Hydro Man and Molten Man. Don't ever do that to me again. Now, some of that info is correct, but some was not, so let's detail what the lucky fans got to see down in Brazil. First, let's just get this little detail out of the way. At the top of the trailer, Aunt May and Happy Hogan have some type of exchange that includes flirting. What? Not sure if anyone was shipping them. I am now, but they are both single, so why not? What? Some trailer descriptions say that Happy was trying to flirt with May, while others say that the two are straight up having an affair. Obviously, there's a pretty huge gap between those two things, so we'll have to wait to see the actual trailer to see whose assessment of the Happy-May relationship status is correct. Um, what? Next in the trailer, Peter Parker packs. <laughs> Next in the trailer, Peter Parker packs for his European trip and chooses to leave his Spider-Man suit behind. Reportedly, it's because he wants to keep his superhero life at home when he goes on vacation and because he is only a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man after all. He didn't care about the rest of you guys. His friends Ned and MJ are also coming along on the trip. Then the trailer shows Peter and friends in Venice, Italy, seeing the sights and Peter getting romantically closer to MJ. From there, Peter and Ned are in their hotel room when someone suddenly appears and shoots Ned with a tranquilizer dart. The someone who appears is Nick Fury, of course, who is there to recruit Peter for a mission. The descriptions say that a bunch of different Spider-Man uniforms are shown here, including the black stealth suit and the classic Spidey suit with spider webs underneath the arms. That at the end of the trailer, Jake Gyllenhaal makes his entrance as Mysterio, teaming up with Spider-Man to fight a new villain, Hydro-Man, who we've previously speculated would appear in the movie. The folks at IGN describe this as a breathtaking sequence, and it also happens to be one of the trailer scenes that turns fans' expectations upside down. They write, the sequence sees Hydro-Man emerge from the Venice waters and attack the Italian city in a sequence full of explosions, screams, and chaos. Spider-Man starts to fight him, but gets into a little trouble, and then that's when Mysterio appears to help him at the end of the trailer. What? We were fairly certain that Mysterio's villainous history in the comics would follow him into the MCU, but according to these trailer descriptions, Mysterio is not only going to be working side by side with Spidey, he's also going to be teaming up with Nick Fury on this European mission. Or is he? According to Slash Film, Jake Gyllenhaal's character Quentin Beck is somehow knowledgeable about the elementals, which should raise some eyebrows, and ends up recruited by Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson, to team up with Spider-Man to stop him. Oh, so Mysterio is somehow 
knowledgeable about these elementals. Sounds like somebody's running a con job. If we had to bet, though Mysterio may be super helpful to Spidey in Far From Home, there is a very good possibility that by the end of the film, we'll see another side of old Quentin Beck, and he's been running a job against Nick and Old Webhead. Also, what was that mention of elementals? That's right, another detail fans were misled on was that the water-blasting nemesis that was previously teased is not exactly Hydro-Man, but instead is one of the elementals. Now, if you're not familiar with them, don't feel too bad. The Elementals are obscure, old-school Marvel villains who debuted back in the 70s in the Supernatural Thrillers comics, and just like you'd guess from their name, the Elementals were extra-dimensional beings who had mastered the elements, and their members usually included Hydron, Hellfire, Zephyr, and Magnum. So why pull from these ancient beings when you have plenty of powerful and interesting Spider-Man villains from his very own rogues gallery? Probably because of movie rights. Marvel Studios has the film rights to the Elementals, but would have to license Hydro-Man and other classic Spidey villains, which are owned by Sony. So most likely they're using the Elemental equivalents of those characters, Hydron instead of Hydro-Man, Hellfire instead of Molten Man, and so on. It's like the MCU's generic brand name version of Spidey villains. It's the Costco of villains. Just as good as the name brand and half the price. Plus free samples. I love Costco. So with all of these new details released through the exclusive trailer, we're getting a whole new idea of what will go down in Spider-Man Far From Home. But what do you folks think? Will Mysterio really be a good guy or is he running a con job? Will the elementals really be extra dimensional? And do you ship Aunt May with Happy Hogan? Yeah, or do you prefer her single? Yeah, whatever, you do you girl, let's discuss. Winner, winner, chicken dinner! Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is out now on PlayStation 4 with three iconic maps, Wrangle, Miramar, and Sanook. And with a snow-themed map coming out this winter, you can admire the winter weather while fighting to be the last person standing. PUBG is out now for PlayStation 4, a battle worth winning.